So today is the 30th of December and um, my cold is not terrible but of course my stomach has completely taken over and has acted up. Sorry I'm belting, it's just one of the things with it. So I've gone to the toilet several times today. Just an update, I think I will just, this will be a fibro update really, a vlogmas fibro update. So I'm guessing it's because of all of the food I've been eating. Which has not been the regular food that I usually eat and will be very rich and chocolatey and stuff like that. So obviously it's taken a reaction to that. But on top of that, this is a nice angle, but I can't hold it. On top of that, yesterday I took some cough bottle and um, I thought it was non-drowsy, but it turns out it wasn't. And I got a very bad reaction from it. No, not very bad, not the worst that you could ever get. But it was still pretty bad. And um, I think maybe that messed things up. It just made me really like dizzy and made me so sleepy. And then I ate and it was just, I don't know, I didn't feel right at all. Sorry, I just went there because um, my stomach was moving and just making me feel really anxious and I couldn't think. But yeah, I took a non-drowsy, no, I took a drowsy that I thought was a non-drowsy cough bottle and it made me very weird. And then I ate some food and like it was bread and I just think I'm eating way too much bread. And then I had ice cream. I mean, all of these things are just not good. This is like alarm bells going like, no, this is not what you do. Like, you know, let's say within a week if I had some ice cream and then like the following week I had bread one of the days. Like, I think times like that it's okay, but having it consistently over days is just not good. I'm learning my lesson now too. Um, Yeah, and just feel, I feel atrocious. I feel so bad and I just, oh, I don't know. I just want it to end now. I just, I've had enough of sickness and I just want to feel better. Even if I'm just feeling a little bit better, like, this is just so annoying, like, it really sets off my anxiety. It's very much related to being sick, like, I feel so anxious when I'm sick. And um, that doesn't help because that just makes me feel sicker. And my anxiety, I just get this, like, really bad feeling of dread, of dread that this is, you know, it. I think I talked about this before, you know this is the worst possible thing that could happen to me even though I know like there's a lot worse that could be happening right now but it's not nice it's just so horrible and your anxiety completely makes it worse it just it just adds to it it just fuels it so much so I am going to put the phone down now and I think I'm just going to put on the telly and I'm just going to try and sit back and relax and just let whatever's going to happen happen and I've taken um, something for it, so that just needs time to work. Um, and otherwise, I think it ju it's just clearing everything out. That's what it seems to be doing. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you updated, I suppose. Um, I'm sure you love this so much because this is what you want to hear about at Christmas time. But like, there's nothing I can do about it. And this is realistic, really always at events or main things does this happen like you know that's what I think like we had a week here now of just nothing to do we could relax and everything watch films and stuff and we haven't been able to because we've both been so sick and it's just you know it's it's the most annoying thing and there's time there that you have you know where you literally don't have to do anything but enjoy it and you can't because you get sick it's fucking ridiculous anyway steve has gone into town he's got he's going to get my spooky box if i'm up to it later i will definitely open it but i think what i'll be doing is i won't be doing a regular video i'll be doing just uh have the camera on the box and i'll take things out i'm not going to show myself or anything because i'm so sick and i don't want to leave it any later because i'm doing a collaboration with um um the moon and stars and the haunted bat and i really wanted to get mine up because it's been a while now so it's the blood moon box i think and i have no idea what's in it and i'm very excited about it at least that's something to look forward to and um yeah so when i get that i let you guys know and i i am sorry like the last two spooky boxes that i've done have not been great um 
video wise so I definitely want to get better at that it was just because the 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 voodoo one I can't remember but I just got too excited and I wanted to do it then um but the the lighting was so bad like it was night time and even when I filmed the close-ups of the items um they were bad too there wasn't great lighting but um yeah so this obviously this week I'm incredibly sick so that can't be helped but I want to get it up still but in the new year I'm hoping I will be able to just do things a bit better and when the weather gets better too I'm gonna stop now because I'm so tired and it was a good distraction for a few minutes and I'll talk to you guys in a bit so um I got my spooky box and I don't unboxing and I'm not too sure if I like it or not and I'm kind of debating whether to even pull it up now Or to maybe redo it when I'm feeling better. But then it won't be a surprise everything I got in it. I don't know what to do. I just feel really crap. I'll wait and see anyway. I won't do anything weird. I'll just keep it anyway and I'll see. I See, I'm not in it. I just did it like... Kind of um, lay out. Well, I'm not happy with I'm not happy with the last one I did either. Maybe I could do a joint one. When I'm feeling better and show everything I got in them. That's what kind of what I'm debating now. Might be a good idea. Anyway, I'll wait and see. Today is the 31st of December. So I have completed pretty much Vlogtober now. The last few days, especially, especially yesterday and today, I had to have any footage. I'm surprised I have anything at all because Steve and I are very sick. Steve is a bit more sick to me, than me now but we had a very hard night and my anxiety is just all over the place. Steve has pretty much just been sleeping all day and yeah it just hasn't been easy and it hasn't been nice. It's not the greatest, it won't be the greatest start to the new year but I am feeling a little better, so I'm kind of hoping Steve will follow now that he'll feel it better tomorrow. So I'm glad that I did um, Vlogmas, did I say Vlogtober? I might have said Vlogtober, but I'm glad that I did Vlogmas and that I did actually manage to film something every day. Um, you know, I know it's like nearly 10 o'clock here now, but you know, I still recorded on this day, so I count that as completing it, so literally there was nothing to film here today anyway, it was just me watching TV. And Steve has been in bed, like I said, so there was nothing to film and I'm not able to do anything, you know. I'm getting very frustrated with being sick. Like I know nobody likes being sick and I know everyone gets frustrated when they're sick but it's just really set off my anxiety and I hate it. I hate that feeling and it just, I really didn't want to feel like this. I, you know, it was the time between Christmas and New Year. You know, we wanted to relax. We wanted to just watch films and we can't do any of that because we're just so sick. But like I said, hopefully we'll both be a good bit better tomorrow. I am... Um, I'm just going to edit these now. And I think I'll try and get up the last vlogs. And then I won't have to worry about it. I still have to go through all of my videos and um, fix up the thumbnails. Because I haven't done that in like a long time. And I have to, you know, edit links and stuff like that. Because I can't do all of that when I upload from my phone. Which is what I always do. Um, but yeah, I am excited about January. You know, I mean, mine is not feeling great. I kind of hope, you know, Steve and I improve from this. And we just get a lot better. And I have loads of ideas for videos 
that I really want to get a start on. So as for vlogs, I don't know when I'll be doing them. Like I said before, I was trying to think of one, one that I could do in spring and I think the April one is probably the best. But I'm going to give myself a break from vlogging anyway and try and just get up other regular videos and just enjoy that for a while because you know when I do vlogmas or whatever if I'm vlogging every day you know that takes most of the time and I can't really do other videos it just takes a lot of time and space and effort so videos to come will be I'll definitely do one about fibromyalgia when I'm up to it um, I'll definitely, I think, like, with anxiety and stuff like that, I'd like to put one up. A uh, slim word when I get back to it. And then, you know, just my kind of regular spooky things. Maybe hauls, although I probably won't be buying a lot of stuff. Um, maybe makeup books, look books. Um, I had, I had loads of other ideas. Oh, pin collection, which I have been meaning to do for a long time now. Which I'd really like to do. And then more spooky box unboxings. So I did one for the Blood Moon one. Which is a collaboration. Um, but I am not going to upload that now. I'm going to redo it when I'm better. Because it's atrocious. And I was in the worst humour. I was so bad. So I don't want to put that up. But it will be coming. And it will be better. <laughs> Um, but I have to upload the voodoo one first because I have that one filmed for him ages ago. I didn't edit it. You see, that's what happens when you're vlogging. Things like that get lost and you don't realise. I'm going to go now and I hope everyone has a wonderful new year and is better than ours being sick. Uh, I know a lot of people are sick though. They seem to have flus and colds and stuff. So I hope everyone recovers for the new year and has a good time and i hope you enjoyed these videos even though the majority of them was just me sick yeah and thanks for watching oh and all my links will be below where you can find me I'm most active on instagram and like i do be on twitter but i'm not super active there oh uh, snapchat oh baby but i tend to use the instagram stories more so now but anyway all links will be below Bye.